happy Saturday morning to you all. It's time to do an oil change in the little trail cub. It's got about uh, 1,800 miles on the clicker right now, uh, so that means 1,200 since the last change uh, at the 600 mile checkup. And uh, it's been long, hard highway running, and it's running a little bit low right now. Uh, it's consumed uh, probably 200 mil, something like that, so it's a little bit low. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change this out and give it some fresh blood. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Hey, right in the bucket. Good catch. So now, let's see if I broke that loose. Yes, I did. So the trick is to do it without making a giant mess all over me or the ground. And I would like to retain the uh, gold plug here as much as possible because I want to see how much ferrous crap is on there. It's really the reason I'm recording this little adventure. I want to uh, see how much stuff is on there. This is going to be tricky. Let's see if I can get that out. And get this. There we go. Success. And we got a few drops on me. Crack open the uh, fill here on the top. Get a little air in the crankcase. And drain it out. So, you are the first to see here with me. I don't know if I can get that to focus. Oh, there it focuses. It's pretty sludgy. Clean it up a little bit while that drains. And you guys listen to a screaming child. Okay. So while that drip dries there, I'll uh, show you what I've got here. See if I can get, get it all on camera and get some light on the subject. Trying to get it to focus. Hello? Focus, damn you. So that's a lot of a lot of ferrous sludge on there. Let's do a couple rounds of cleanup and see what it looks like as it uh, gets going here. So try to keep all the action on camera here. Oh yeah, that's a lot of chunky sludge, and I see a lot of uh Metallic. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Oh, man, can you guys see all that? I'm trying to get it to focus. All those filings. There's a lot of shiny metallic schmoo still stuck to the magnet. I'm trying to keep it on camera and get it to focus there. So the gold plug is well worth the money for anybody that's got one of these uh, Super Cubs, Trail Cubs. Uh, I would imagine that the Trail Cubs are probably going to get the new motor like the uh, Super Cub did that has a cartridge style oil filter. But all the previous Groms, Monkeys, uh, everything up to, uh, you know, the 21 model year and before are uh, just a spinner arrangement. There's no oil filter in these things. So anything you can do to keep that ferrous abrasive crap out of your oil is a very good idea. And <laughs> the magnet's so strong it's hard to get it off of there. Good stuff. Yeah, still got a couple of sharp spikies out there that I'm trying to get off. They will not come off. Gotta trap them in the rag somehow. I can't get that one. Anywho, you get the gist of it. Clean this up. Put the drain plug back in and uh, fill her up with uh, Mobile One 10W40 uh, 4T stuff, the motorcycle stuff. I noticed that the oil was pretty uh, old and probably getting low because I noticed the engine temperatures were getting a little higher than usual uh, on my little op mid gauge up there and also uh, it was getting notchy on shifting, very notchy. So it's usually an indication of uh, crappy oil or low oil. All right, do it to it. All right, so we're recycling the old oil into a container we can dispose of it. And I'm curious to see how much I end up with because I know the uh, little trail was running a bit low on oil. So if it's less than 850, we know it was low and we'll figure out by how much. Oh yeah, it was low. It was good and low. So what, do you, what were you saying? We put in probably 50 mil or so yesterday. So that's 750. This is what, 500? So that's six. Yeah. So it was running 300 mil low. 
It was slurping some oil and out there. And that's after that. you added some to that's it. That's after I added time it to it, yeah, so it was good and low. When I pulled the dipstick on it yesterday uh, over there at Barber, or wherever we were, it was, uh, it was just at the bottom of the stick. So it still had oil in it, but it was pretty low. Okay, so here we go, refilling uh, the little uh, Trail 125 with some Mobile One 4T 10W40. That'll work just fine. Check the little level, see what we're at. All right, so what I'll do is uh, spin the engine over for a moment and see what the level looks like on the dipstick. If I can get that thing to start on the thread. Settle out for a minute. Check the dipstick. I don't know why Honda designed this dipstick with such a long thread on it. But you gotta keep spinning this thing forever and a day before it comes undone. Alright. So clean that up. <clears throat> Clean that up. And give her a check. Oh, yeah, right up to the top of the threads. Perfect. I don't know if you guys can see that. Up to the top of the threads. Got it on the first try. About 825 mil. So, she was running uh, good. Whew, probably. 250 mil low yesterday. That's not good. Uh, again, I could tell just from the clunky shifting, and uh, the engine didn't really sound noisy, but my temps were running a little higher than uh, what I deemed normal. So, yeah, good idea to check it. Long hard highway runs are going to consume some oil. <laughs> 